Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com Our project title is An algorithm for mining association rules for using perfect caching on database pruning. In this paper, we propose an algorithm for finding frequent item sets in transaction databases. The basic idea of our algorithm is inspired from the direct caching and pruning algorithm, which is in fact a variation of well-known a priori algorithm. In the DHP algorithm, a hash table is used in order to reduce the size of the candidate K plus 1 item sets generated at each step. The difference of our algorithm is that it uses perfect hashing in order to create a hash table for the candidate K plus 1 item sets. As per perfect hashing is used, the hash table contains the actual counts of the candidate K plus 1 item sets. Hence, we do not need to make extra processing to count the occurrences of uh, candidate K plus 1 item sets as in the DHP algorithm. The algorithm also prunes the database uh, at each step in order to reduce the search space. We also test our uh, algorithm with the real database uh, obtained from a large retailing company and observed that our algorithm performs better than the a priori algorithm. Let's see the data flow diagram of our project. Here we can uh, start with uh, data extraction and item set generation support count and iteration 1, iteration 2, iteration 3. These are the process of uh, item name and uh, analysis. First we have to done the data set extraction, then we have to done the uh, item set generation. Like um, we have to choose uh, particular items to done the process and we have then we have to done the support count. Here we have to find out the support count of each item with their combinations and we have to done the three iterations that are that are um, iteration one and uh, iteration two and uh, iteration three. In iteration one we have to choose uh, a data item for find out the minimum support count and uh, find out the frequency and iteration 2 we have to done the uh, process uh, that is uh, combination of two data item to find out the minimum support count and uh, the candidate support count iteration 3 is the process of um, find out the combination of three data item to find out the uh, candidate support count and the minimum support count and analysis is the process of uh, it is a uh, a graphical represent representation of the three iterations um, here we have to put the graph for the value of the frequency and the frequency or the minimum support count and the candidate support count of the data each data item let's see the demo of our project when we have to start to run our project we have to select a data set. This is the tra transaction data set. The text box uh, will display the uh, path of the data set. And uh, click the extract button to extract the data set. And click the view button to view the all data from the data set. This is the transaction data set. It contains more repeated values. And click the next button. Then we have to run the item set generation. First, we have to click the view button. It shows the data from the database in the grid view with the checkbox. Here, we can select the particular data for the process. Insert into the next grid view. Here only we, ha we can see the selected data items and we have to click the next button. Here we have to run the PHP algorithm. Here we can double click on the text box. Uh, we can see the selected data items in the grid view. Then we can select any data for the first iteration and put it in the text box and first find out the minimum support count of the data and click the next button to find out the minimum candidate support count uh, of the data and click the step one process 
to view the all details of the first iteration and choose the second data for the second iteration. and put it into put it into the text box then we have to find out the candidate support count and the minimum support count uh, combined with the first data and second data first we have to find out the minimum support count and next we have to find out the candidate support count then we have to click on the step 2 button it shows the all details of the iteration 2 then we have to select the third data for the third iteration and put it into the text box and uh, we, uh, next we have to find out the minimum support count and the ca candidate, su candidate support count uh, with a combination of first, and first, second and third data items and we have to find out the candidate support count then we have to click the next button here we have to analyze the three iterations First, we have to done the step one for the first iteration and draw the graph here. The m minimum support count of the data item is increased. The uh, frequency of the data item is uh, increased automatically. This process same also the iteration two and this process same also the our project is over. Thank you for watching.